Hey guys, what's up? Caboose here, and we're back in the Redstone world. Um, and today, you might notice that down below, I got rainbow wool. Um, that's because I just made something new. Um, not necessarily new, but there it is. Now you're probably thinking, what the hell is that? Well, let me give you a quick demonstration. Basically, you come in here, and, uh... You would hit these buttons, and another player would be over there, and uh, he'd also be trying to squish you. Uh, so it is called Rainbow Smash or Rainbow Crush. Um, I forget what the actual name of it is, um, and I also forget where I came up or where I got the idea from. But uh, basically, you play with two players. Um, you could extend it out further to have uh, multiple teams. Um, well, two people per team, I guess, because um, there's still more wool color. I just went with the wool that filled up my hotbar. Um, but yeah, basically you hit these buttons and you keep going until one player dies and then the last player left alive wins. Um, and you got soul sand to make you walk slower. So pretty simple to make um, you can make this in a survival world uh, I have um, so basically what you want to do uh, is get your wool together by getting these little guys um, and basically you need to do one two three four and this is going to be the center um, of it uh, like I said you can do as much wool as you want um, I'm just going to do this amount because it's what fits in my hotbar. Um, and that's red. So yeah, there's your center. Uh, and then you're going to want to dig a trench to put the soul sand. And hopefully you don't screw up like I did. And then you place your soul sand. And hopefully that you don't hit a sheep. Because um, they will screw you up. It's one thing I wish you could shut off in creative mode was animals because especially on super flat they just spawn all over the place and fuck your shit up so once you get that done um, what you could do is set up the doors um, but we're gonna leave that for the end actually um, so then you want to get your wool back um, you want to go up three what am I doing up three on all of them like so and on the other side as well go up three and like that now you want to get your sticky piston out uh, and what you want to do is you want to stand here and place it so it's Is it there? No. It's one above that. Um, so actually, you need to make it four high. I thought it was three. But, um, yeah, it's actually four high. So I'll just quickly fix that. There we go. And then bring our sticky piston down and you want it on the fourth high helps if you fly a little bit just so you don't get stuck on the soul sand and boom there you go so now you want to bring back your wool and you want to in front of it I believe totally place that on the wrong spot yeah the one in front of it um, you want to have placed, and that's right where the button is going to go. And then you come down like so, placing the wool. And then this is the part that will actually hit the individual person. Um, and then you go ahead and grab the buttons. Um, and place them like so so when you hit that 
It activates this and that and brings that down. And that's basically all you need. Um, but if you wanted to make it look fancy, well, obviously you would need something to block at least like that. Um, but if you wanted to make it look nice and presentable, I guess, um, what you can do, um, you can like cut out these and put in glowstone, or you can come up and place it on top of the button. Maybe not. So you go like that, and of course, have to make a huge mess um, because otherwise it just just doesn't work. Just kidding. Don't make a mess. It's a pain. Um, so yeah, and then basically you just fill these in, uh, and this will light it up a bit. Um, this way no mobs will spawn, and then you can even put, over there I did screw up a little bit, and I'll show you why in a second, um, but then you can just go like that, I believe, it's actually going to be like that, I guess, maybe, we'll figure something out, so yeah, like that, and then what you want to do is, like that, and a Above where the door will go as well, make a nice little casing. And then fill that in as well. And then you can put glass panes there so you can have people spectating if you really wanted to. Uh, and then iron doors there, iron doors there. Don't know why I placed anything there. Um, and then you want to place a lever here and here have them facing the same general direction um, this way like after the game is over uh, you don't need someone to let you out you can just activate it from the inside and you can also close it from the inside uh, also if I just remembered that if you place it like that this way they can't actually like hide underneath the door or in the door frame I guess so yeah place it like that fly a little bit Place a door like that. I also don't have anything over here. There we go. And a glowstone, glowstone, stone brick. Place a lever. Dig. Place stone brick just to make it look nice. And of course, place it on the wrong side. Flip the switch twice. Um, and then you can go ahead and put some glowstone in. I don't really know how I had it over there. Oh, I had another layer back here. But, uh, yeah, basically, you make it look nice and presentable, like I did over there. Um, and like so, and so, and place them there, and there. There you go. Now, again, you could, like I have over here, um, Oh, the doors are on technically the wrong edge of the block, but you get the point. Um, you can have it like this, um, so people can still spectate and whatnot. Um, however, the latch is on the outside, uh, so you would need at least one person spectating to let you out after, or just break down the block. So, yeah, that's basically it. Just a quick tutorial for today. Um, obviously... You can make it look nice like this, so you don't see the piston like you do over there. Um, I was just more or less showing you guys what you need to build it and how to build it. Um, so yeah, you can extend it if you want, because um, there are a lot of colors. Um, I stopped off here, so you still have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more colors that you could expand off of. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And then you can play with your friends. And, uh, just hit the buttons, like I'm doing here, and uh, trap them, and whatnot. So that's Rainbow Smash. Um, we still got two more left. Uh, the clock and connect four. Um, so leave a comment of what you guys would like to see next, or 
if you'd like to see something that I haven't shown yet, um, and you'd like to see if it's possible, let me know in the comments, uh, and I will attempt it. Um, otherwise, let me know if you need me to go back over anything. I'll do that. Let me know if you want to see Connect 4, The Clock, or something else in the comments. But I've been Caboosus here. Like, subscribe, favorite for more. Do all of them, do not have them. It's up to you. I won't force you. I'll catch you guys next time.